My name is Edgar, and I founded Edgar Sherman Design. We are a military and outdoor equipment design company. Today, I'm going to show you an overview of our enhanced foregrip, along with an installation video. designed the enhanced foregrip, we set out to go and fix the angle that your wrist is naturally aligning to. If you grab on directly to the rail, you're going to be hyperextending your wrist. The enhanced foregrip is actually set up to go and bring your wrist to a much more natural alignment, thus reducing fatigue and increasing strength. The grooves of the EFG are designed to provide greater surface contact on your proximal flanges of your fingers. This is done so, so that way you'll have more reliable grip whenever your hands are wet, dry, or if you're wearing gloves. On the bottom, we have a hook that's also going to go and help assist with that. So as you're grabbing onto your rifle, you're going to have good consistent stoppage with your hand every single time. The grooves also align with the bottom of the hook if you're using this as a barricade stop. So now when you drive this into a barricade, it's going to have greater surface area and connection, and you're not going to have any sort of slippage, and you can fully load into the gun when doing so. The width of the EFG is also designed to help fit between your fingers and go and build up that good, reliable, consistent grip. So now you have more surface area that your fingers are wrapping around the EFG. While the front of your rifle might start to get heavy when you add a suppressor, a flashlight, a laser, and any other accessories through there, you know that the EFG is not going to be adding weight there. At only 0.7 ounces, including hardware, it's going to help keep your front end as light as you possibly can get it. If you purchase an EFG from one of our dealers, it's gonna come in packaging that looks like this. You're gonna have a little bit of info on the front. Primarily all the information about the product's gonna be on the back, along with a QR code to go and take up this video about installation and the key features. You'll also receive the M-Lock hardware on the back here too. If you purchase direct from our website, it's gonna come in a little bag like so. You'll have all of your hardware in here, the EFG, and you get that same QR code and some extra information on the back face here. The EFG comes in a wide assortment of colors. We've got black as our main standard color. We've got FDE, Ranger Green, and we have Multicam Black. So if you want to pick an EFG to match your hardware or your rifle build, we've got a good amount of options from the factory for you. The M-Lock EFG is going to come with two M-Lock screws, both with thread lock on them. It's also going to include two M-Lock T-nuts. The easiest way to install this is with a 1 8 inch bit. Uh, you can go grab whatever Allen key you have at home, or if you have a Fix-It Sticks kit, we designed it to fit with that as well. What I do first is I grab one of the M-Lock screws, and I go and insert that through all the way. Then I'm going to grab a T-nut and try to start threading it as far as I possibly can onto here beforehand. If you run into an issue where you can't quite get this threaded on very far, you can always go and insert this into some of the M-Lock and twist until it gets a little bit tighter. The goal that I'm looking for is so that way when I rotate this into the M-Lock, I'm not having to put a lot of pressure into it or pull it off of the gun all that much. Uh, then I'll take the second screw, insert that through the front face, add the T-nut through here, screw that on as far as I possibly can, and now I'm set from here. Whenever I install an EFG onto my rifle, I always set it up where my hands are whenever I'm shooting with a handgun. So this is gonna build up more consistency as I'm shooting. So now my support hand is gonna be in the same place that it would be on a handgun as it would be on my rifle. So for me, I know that that's here. So I'll go and slide that on through here, making sure that the hardware is aligned. And then I will go and insert the fix-it stick through here. And I'll go and rotate this through. What I'm looking to see is that the T-nut on the inside face has actually rotated into alignment and is in a locking position. I won't lock it all the way down yet because I want to make sure that both of these are going to be doing the same thing and not free spinning. Fortunately, I aligned everything properly, so neither of these are going to be free spinning. And now I can go and tighten these up. I get these about hand tight through here. If you want the exact torque specs, you can look up right here in the video. The key details are to make sure that your T-nuts are locked properly in the M-Lock 
and that you're not putting too much tension onto either side and that the thread lock has been engaged. After that, installation is complete and you're good to go to the range. That concludes our enhanced foregrip installation video and overview. Thanks so much for checking it out. If you want to see other cool products and other social media, educational content, things of the like, go check out our YouTube, check out our Instagram, and check out our Facebook. You can also go to our website, edgarshermandesign.com, to go check out more products. Thanks so much for tuning in with us, and we hope you have a good one.